I'm going to start with a blank GUI. So if you do that, I type guide. And we're going to create a new GUI. The whole purpose of this GUI is to show you how to get feedback or, or to, to get input from the GUI and to feed it back to the GUI. So I'm putting in this text box. Uh, I'm going to change it 14 font size. Um, font name, I really like times. Uh, let's put in a default value of 1. 1, and I'm going to call it edit my input. Okay. So then I'm going to bring out one of these. It's a static text box. I'm going to make it bigger. Um, we have to give it a name. We'll call it text my output. And make this 14. And just for consistency sake, times. And then it kind of doesn't fit right. So I can resize it. And the default value, we're going to say that it's going to be 1. Because what, what I'm going to do with my input is we're going to read the value and then we're going to invert it and that's going to be the output for my output. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Um, I'm going to call it simple IO GUI, where IO stands for input output. Um, extra period, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that back and we're just going to run it. And there it is. Doesn't do anything. So what we what we really want is we want the callback of this to execute um, the inversion and then do the updating here. So I close this. Go to my input callback, and the MATLAB hints here say I can get the string or or I can use it as a number string to double here like this string to double get h object string. Now this thing, this h object, it's a handle to the callback object. And it's it's good only within this callback function. So in any other function, I have to specify edit my input, you know, handles.edit my input if I want to access it. But within this callback, I can just use <coughs> h object. So we're going to say x equals string to double h object string where again, here, this, this h op object is equivalent to handles dot edit my input, but that's only valid within this callback. So now we want to say, you know, here's an extra step, like say y equals 1 over x, and then we need to write y to the new static text box. So we set we use the set command. It's just like the get command but it's opposite. So we have to set handles dot edit my output. We're going to set its uh, string value and y is a number so I have to convert it to a string. So I go uh, num to str, num to string, and then y. And then so now, if I save this, I can return immediately to the GUI. I'll hit run. And then if, let's see what happens if I put in 2. Oh, I get an error. What happened? Um, edit my output does not exist. So. Let's go back and make sure that I use the right strings or the right. Maybe I didn't save it. I don't know. 
Oh, it's text my output. Let's see exactly what they. So text that ought to do. So we're going back, uh, running the GUI again. So if I put in two, you get 0.5. Okay, three, go on, one half. Okay, and then there are a lot of fancy things you can do. Like if I put in three, you can use um, you can use the the num to string command, and you can apply formatting so that um, so that maybe it only shows two decimal places. And um, I guess uh, I can probably beyond the scope to show you. I don't know. Uh, maybe I can show you here. So. You can put formatting strings in here, like um, percent. I think it's zero point two g, something like that. I don't know if that works or not, but just try it. See, see how that works. Yeah. So it, what it means is, I forget how these these work, but you can read more about them. But you can just uh, that specifies g is it's a general format. And then the two spaces are reserved for decimal places. Um, there are other ones like E, and that, that's an exponential format, I believe. So, so like that. Mm -hmm.